The Chandler Unified School District is under fire again. You might remember the allegations of sexual hazing in the Hamilton High School locker room. Well, this time, elementary school students are being accused of inappropriate behavior and sexual harassment. Team 12's Ryan Cody is live at the district office where parents are voicing their concerns to the board tonight. Ryan. And they are very concerned, Mark and Caribe. We're talking about bullying, harassment, death threats, even sexual assault. We're talking about fourth and fifth graders here and parents at this board meeting tonight in Chandler. They want to know why more is not being done about it. Now is our time for our citizen comments. One by one. Unending threats and personal and physical attacks. Parents of children at Tarwater Elementary. What's happening to the school that I fell in love with? Telling personal stories about threats, bullying. He's received multiple threats to kill him. Cassidy Harstad says her fourth grade son is receiving death threats. We called Chandler Police Department. We filed a police report. And unfortunately, that was hard to do their children right. um, and then a week later it happened again and I called and filed another police report. Chandler PD confirming an investigation into one incident at Tarwater but cannot give details on that particular report. I'm here tonight in relation to a sexual assault and touching of my daughter's chest. Diane Barella saying her daughter is being sexually harassed by another fifth grader. He actually thought it started out as a very innocent crush, you know, kind of thought like, oh, that's funny. Um, and then it started becoming more and more. Um, and then she came home and told us that he had put his hands on her. Barella says the district told her they would file a police report. Come to find out six weeks later, there was not a, a um, official police report filed. And again, CPD telling 12 News they only know about one incident not both. Our world was kind of shook when we realized that it was not handled at all. In a statement, the district acknowledging the incident, saying, quote, the schools filed reports with police as required. But again, police saying they only have a report about one incident. So parents want to know why. No child should feel threatened or scared at school. I'm going to keep fighting for my baby and advocating for his safety on campus. But well, the reason these police reports are so important is because Arizona law actually requires educators to report incidents of abuse involving minors directly to Child Protective Services or to the cops. Simply telling your administration at the school does not fulfill that requirement. We are live in Chandler tonight. Ryan Cody, 12 News at 10.